Hey everyone, my name is Vishwas and welcome to this mini series on design tips for developers. In this video, I'll briefly explain what this series is all about and why it may be of interest to you. Let me begin with a few observations of what I have seen over the years. First, as a front-end developer, you are generally not trained on UI UX. Even to this day, if you're hired as a front-end dev, your learning path is HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and then a framework or a library like React, Vue, or Angular. Although this path is great, it does leave a void in terms of UI UX, which I feel is really important to address. Second, as a front-end dev, you slowly grow into a role where you need to partake in design to developer handoff sessions. During these sessions, it is important you understand why the designer has made certain decisions, assess the technical feasibility of those decisions, and suggest a middle ground when necessary. Not every design is easy to build. If you're lacking that knowledge of UI UX, this is a session you'll struggle with and possibly frustrate the designer and the other devs counting on you. Another important observation for me is that when a designer is on vacation, or if there is no designer on the team, you find it challenging to make changes to an existing design. A designer needs to be pulled in from another project even for a small change. You can write the most complex JavaScript logic, but might struggle to develop clean and elegant looking UI on your own. Now, if these points sound familiar, the series is exactly for you. Design Tips for Developers is a series where I have put together small but effective tips that you as a developer can take away to level up your design skills. We will talk about tables, forms, colors, etc. that you regularly come across when building applications. They are tips that I have learned over the years from great designers like Steve Sugar and Eric Kennedy. Please do have a look at their work if you would like to dive deeper into what we are about to learn. In addition to the front-end development content I've been publishing on the channel, I also want to help you develop an eye for design and stand out from other developers at work. Hence this mini-series. I am a developer who likes design and hopefully I can inspire you to be one as well. Before we proceed, let me quickly go over what this series is and what it is not. The series is a handful of short videos intended to help you develop better user interfaces when a designer is unavailable to make that decision for you. It is intended for front-end developers of any level. Fresher, junior, mid or senior, I would like to think there is something for each of you to take away. We will not be actively designing or developing any content. I have created the content in Figma, which I will be using to convey the tip. What you learn is not the only way to solve a UI UX problem, but one of the many ways that you can use. And as it is with any series in this channel, the intention with this series as well is to help you become better than what you were yesterday. If all of this makes sense, Join me in the next video where we will start by discussing about tables. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.